الحمد لله الحمد لله سابق النعم ودافع النقم ومجلي الغمم وكاشف الظلم أعدل من حكم وحسيب من ظلم وولي من ظلم أحمده حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه ملء السماوات وملء الأرض وملء ما بينهما وملء ما شاء مولانا من شيء بعد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهه وعظيم سلطانه حمدا لا يحصيه عددا ولا يحيط به علما إلا هو السميع العليم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو حي لا يموت بيده الخير وهو على كل شيء قدير وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد عبد الله ورسوله وخيرته من خلقه وصفيه من أنبيائه ورسله أدى الأمانة وبلغ الرسالة ونصح الأمة وجل الغمة وتركنا على المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك اللهم صل وسلم عليه وعلى أزواجه أمهات المؤمنين وعلى ذريته وآل بيته وعثرته الطيبين الطاهرين وعلى صحابته وتابعيهم ومن اتبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وعلى والدينا ومشايخنا وأصحاب الفضل علينا وعلينا معهم صلاة وسلاما دائمين كاملين متلازمين إلى يوم الدين آمين يا رب العالمين My brothers and sisters, as you know, this is the last Friday of the month of the Qa'da. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He talks about these 12 months in Surah At-Tawbah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna iddata al-shuhuri inda Allah ithna ashara shahran fi kitab illahi yawma khalaq al-samawat wal-ard minha arba'atun hurum thalika al-deen al-qayyim fala tazlimu fihin anfusakum. Indeed, the numbers of months with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is 12. It's 12 months in the register or in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the day He created the heaven and the earth. Of these four, of these 12, there are four months which are called sacred. Arba'atun minha arba'atun hurum. So do not wrong yourself in, it, in these months. Those four months, Dil Qa'da and Dil Hajjah is of them. Dil Qa'da, Dil Hajjah, Muharram and Rajab. So the, the number of months in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is 12. Since He created the heaven and the earth on that time. Now, there is month of Ramadan, which is very, very beautiful month, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has selected for revelation, for all the books, Qur'an, Tawrat, Injil, Zabur, and Suhuf Ibrahim. But this month is also very important month, the days of this month, especially the first days of the Hajjah, probably starting tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, نَحْنُ الْآخِرُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ نَحْنُ أَوَّلُ مَنْ يَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةِ he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, we Muslim are the last to come to this dunya but will be the foremost on the day of resurrection and we will be the first ummah who will enter the jannah. Subhanallah. There is another hadith in Bukhari and Muslim that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says, you are staying in this dunya compared to the previous nation just like from Asr till the sense of time. And the people who were before us, Jewish and Christian, and he says, the people of book, so the people of book among them, the Jews, they were given the Torah and they acted upon them, upon it from morning time till Zohar time, and they were given their reward as one Qirat. The Christian they were given their book, Injil or Gospel, and they acted upon till Asr time, and then they were exhausted, and they were given their reward. And then he says, our stay in this dunya, just from Asr till Mother time. And we were given two Qirat, and Qirat is a symbol of reward. 
So here in this, the people of two books, Christian and Jews, they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, why did you give us? Why one, one qirat and you give them two qirat? <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to them, Hal zalamtukum min ajlikum min shay? Did I decrease, did I take some of your reward? Did I decrease the reward of your actions, your ahmal? They said no. Then he said, Then this is my favor, I give to whom I wish. SubhanAllah. My brothers and sisters, the reward of some days and some nights are very special. Sometime among especially the people of subcontinent, Pakistan and India, Bangladesh and some other countries, when they hear, hear about 15 of Sha'ban, where the hadith is very weak, and at that night the Prophet ﷺ, he just went to Jannah al Baqir, which is the cemetery of those Sahaba and his wives buried there, and Laylat al Mi'raj, Isra al Mi'raj, that is the night. Even the muhaddisin, the muakhirin, and they are not sure which was the confirmed day. The event took place, but which was the day? Most probably it was 27th night of Rajab. But again, no special actions were documented that the Prophet did on that night. But what is documented in authentic ahadith are on the, about these 10 days, people do not take care of this. And the Prophet says, مَا مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أَنْعَمَلُ صَالِحُ فِيهِنَّ أَحَبُّ إِلَى اللَّهِ مِنْهُ فِي هَذِهِ الْأَيَّامِ الْعَشْرِ قَالُوا وَلَا الْجِهَادُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ قَالَ وَلَا الْجِهَادُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا رَجُلٌ خَرَجَ بِنَفْسِهِ وَمَالِهِ وَلَمْ يَرْجَعْ مِنْ ذَلِكَ بِالشَّيْءِ Narrated Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there are no days in which righteous and good deeds are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than these ten days, meaning the first ten days of the Hajjah. They say even jihad, O Messenger of Allah, he says even jihad is not. Except the person who went his, with his luggage, with his uh, 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 ride, and does not come back, and he, murdered, he, become, he dies there. SubhanAllah, my brothers and sisters, Rasulullah There are no days. Look at the hadith. Ma min ayyamin al amal salih fihinna. Ahabu idallahi minhu fi hadhi al ayyam. There are no days in which righteous and good deeds are more beloved to Allah than these ten days. SubhanAllah, these ten days. Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about it. وَذْكُرُ اللَّهَ فِي أَيَّامِ الْمَعْلُمَاتِ فِي أَيَّامِ الْمَعْلُمَاتِ Remember Allah in these few days. Allah also says وَالْفَجْرِ وَلَيَالِ الْعَشْرِ By the dawn, by the fajr time, in the ten nights, the mufassireen, the majority of the mufassireen, they are agreed upon. They, the fajr means here, it was Yom Naha, which is the tenth of the Hajjah where people sacrifice. And date is the busiest day for those who perform in the Hajj. Well, I had in Hajj in this 10 nights, 10 days. These are the days, my brothers and sisters, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in which Allah completed His deen. الْيَوْمَ أَكْمَلْتُ لَكُمْ دِينَكُمْ وَأَكْمَلْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَةِ وَرَضِيتُ لَكُمْ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ This day I have perfected you for perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and I have chosen Islam to be, to be of your way of life. SubhanAllah. There was a story at the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab, a Jewish man, he came to the Prophet and he asked him, O oh, leader of the believer, O Amir al-Mu'mini, there is one verse in your book in Quran if it was revealed in our book in Torah, we would have taken the day, the day of celebration. He asked him, what is that I? He said, Al-Yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmantu alaykum ni'mati wa radeetu lakum al-Islam Which means, 
This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen Islam for you to be your religion. Subhanallah. Umar says, By Allah, I know when and where this ayah was revealed. It was Friday, it was 9th of Dhul Hajjah, and just before the sunset, the day of Arafat, this ayah revealed. And what does Allah say in this ayah? This day I completed, I perfected your religion, and I have completed my favor upon you. So Allah completed this deed. This was the day within these ten days, which was the day of Arafah. The Mufassirin also said when Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam was appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a promise with him, appointed appointment with him to come with his people to the Jabal Tur, to the mountain of Tur. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَوَعَدْنَا مُوسَى ثَلَاثِينَ لَيْلَةً وَأَتْمَمْنَاهَا بِعَشْرٍ فَتَمَّ مِقَاتُ رَبِّهِ أَرْبَعِينَ لَيْلَةً And we made an appointment with Musa a.s. for 30 nights and perfected them by the addition of 10. So the terms of his law was completed as 40 nights. The Mufassirin says it was the 39th, it was the whole month of the Qa'dah, the addition of it, 10 days and 10 nights, it was the month of the Hajjah. Subhanallah. My brothers and sisters, one of the pillars of Islam is taken in this, this month. It started from Shawwal, the Qa'dah, and the Hajjah. People start journey towards Mecca for Hajj. And they start going in the month of Shawwal and the Qa'la, making Umrah and waiting for this period, for Hajj. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Al-Hajj ashwaru ma'lumat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, Wa'adhin fi al-nasi bil-hajj ya'atuka rijalan wa'ala kulli tawili ya'atina min kulli fajjin ameed liyashadu manafi' alahum wa yazkuru smallahi fi ayyami ma'lumat. This is Surah Al-Hajj. And proclaim to the people the Hajj or pilgrimage. They will come to you on foot and on every lean camel. They will come from every distant pass. They will, they, they will witness and attain the benefit for themselves and mention the name of Allah as known in specific days or what he has provided for you, for them of sacrifice animal. SubhanAllah. My brothers and sisters, this, these are the days. Allah says, Allah fi ayyami ma'lumat. And remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during specific numbers of days. وَمِنْ آيَامِ وَمِنْ فَضَائِلِ هَا كَذَلِكَ أَنَّ الْعَمَلَ الصَّالِحَ فِيهَا أَحَبُّ إِلَى اللَّهِ تَعَالَ مِنْهُ فِي بَقِيَّةِ الْعَنْعَامِ فِي بَقِيَّةِ الْعَنْعَامِ أفضل الدنيا أفضل أيام الدنيا أيام العشر. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم says the best days of the year are these ten days. And remember, the Hajj is taking place, and whoever whoever makes Hajj during these days and does not commit any sin, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم says. مَنْ حَجَّ فَلَمْ يَرْفُسْ وَلَمْ يَفْسُقْ رَجَعَ مِنْ تُنُوبِهِ كَيَوْمِ وَلَدَتُهُ Whoever performed Hajj and did not commit any rafas, any disobedience, and his sins, his Hajj is sinless, then as this is the day as if his mother gave birth to him. He is free from sins. SubhanAllah. My brothers and sisters also, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, ما من يوم أكثر من أن يعتق الله فيه عبد من النار من يوم عرفة وإنه لا يدنو ثم يباهي بهم الملائكة فيقول ما أراد هؤلاء. You know the nights of Ramadan, especially ليلة القدر, very important nights. خير من ألف شهر. 
heard the nine of the Hajjah, the day task, it is very important. Look at this hadith. There is no other day on which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala releases more people from the hellfire than he does on the day of Arafah. On this day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala draws nearest to the people and taking pride in his righteous servants. Ask the angel, do you see what they desire? And there is another hadith which is narrated by Anas ibn Malik. The Prophet sallallahu was standing in Arafat and he asked Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu to make people quiet if I want to say something. So Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he made the announcement, O oh people, to be quiet. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi has a message for you. So the people were quiet and they were silent. The Prophet says, Jibreel السلام, just came to me. And he conveyed salam of my Lord to me. And then he said, Whoever are present with you, they are forgiven. Subhanallah. Umar ibn al Khattab at that moment he asked a very important question. And he said, Ya Rasulullah, is this forgiveness? For your companion only or for the rest of the people as well. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, هَذَا لَكُمْ وَلِمَنْ أَتَى مِنْ بَعْنِكُمْ إِلَىٰ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ It is for you and for those people who will be coming to this place, to the Arafah. Till the day of judgment they will be forgiven. So my brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us this opportunity. Do not lose this opportunity, my brothers and sisters. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also says, أَعْضَمُ الْأَيَّامِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ يَوْمُ النَّحْرِ ثُمَّ يَوْمُ الْقِرْرِ أَخْرَجَهُ أَحْمَدُ أَبُ دَعُودِ The best, the great days in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the tenth of the hajjah. And then, يَوْمُ الْقِرْرِ where the qirr means will tear, will, where people take qarar in mina staying there and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and doing jamarat. My brothers and sisters, how should we welcome these days? And what did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa do in these days? And what is the hukum for us? What is the order for us? Number one, we should welcome these days to make a sincere tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will not commit any sin in these days. To make tawbah to Allah. And whatever we commit, we, we commit the sins to feel regret and sorry and apologize for them from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to make a strong, strong determination in al azma that I'm not repeat, I will not repeat the same sin again. رَدُّ الْحُقُوقِ إِذَا أَصْحَابِهَا سِوَاءً كَانَتْ حُقُوقًا مَالِيًا أَوْ وَذَنِيًا أَوْ غَيْرَ ذَلِكَ If you have taken the right of someone, return it. Either it is verbally, it is alone, or any other right. Return the right. And also to seek knowledge of these days, وَتُسْتَقْبُلْ مُعَاصِرُ التَّعَالِ بِطَلَبِ الْعِلْمِ الشَّرْعِي When the month of Ramadan comes, we should know the fiqh of fasting in Ramadan. When these days comes, we should know what is the Prophet ﷺ and the Sahaba they did in these days. Welcome all these, these seasons with the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See how many brothers and sisters they are not with us, they passed away. To thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now several actions and they are recommended to do during these days. Number one, kasr to the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَذْكُرُ اللَّهَ فِي أَيَّامٍ مَعْدُودَاتٍ وَيُذْكَرْ اسْمَ اللَّهِ فِي أَيَّامٍ مَعْدُومَاتٍ And mention the name of Allah on specific days. 
and these are the days. فَإِذَا قَضَيْتُمْ مَنَاسِكَكُمْ فَذْكُرُ اللَّهِ كَذِكْرِكُمْ آبَاءَكُمْ أَوْ أَشَدَّ ذِكْرًا And when you completed your rites, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like you remember your forefathers. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. كَسْرَةُ التَّكْبِيرِ وَالتَّحْلِيلِ وَالتَّحْمِيلِ In these days, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. لا إله إلا الله. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. وَلِلَّهِ الْحَمْدِ This the meaning. You can start. Especially, you can, you can do any time by individually. But after every salah, we will start after Salat al-Fajr of 9th of Zil-Hajjah. صِيَامُ أَيَّامُهَا مَا عَلَى يَوْمُ الْعَيْدِ The, 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 the wives of the Prophet ﷺ described that the Prophet ﷺ كان يصوم يوم عاشورة وتسعة من ذي الحجة وثلاثة أيام من الشهر The Prophet ﷺ used to fast on Ashura day which is 10th of Muharram which is, will be the next month after the first month of Islamic calendar and he used to fast these nine days تسعة من ذي الحجة from first of the Hajjah is for those people who are not making Hajj. And every month he used to fast three, three days. وَقِيَامُ لَيْلِهِ This is to do Qiyam al to make the Hajj, or at least after Salat al-Asha, some Nawaf. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam also say about the fasting, if you are not able to fast these nine days, at least do not miss the ninth of Zil Hajjah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Su'ila an sawmi arafa faqal yukaffiru al-sanat al-madiyya wa sanat al-qabila. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will accept the fast of the day of Arafa as expiation for sin, the both the previous and the coming year. Amazing. He also said the reward of fasting the day of Arafat is equal to the reward of fasting a thousand other days. This is another hadith. Those who fast only one day, day of Arafat, Allah give you the reward of one thousand days. Just imagine. When the tenth of Til Hajjah come, what you need to do? The first thing, yes, Salatul Fajr. And you wait for Salat al -Aid. After Salat al -Aid, you go and slaughter your animal. To do Qurbani. Udhiyah. The Prophet Sallallahu Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in the Quran, فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَا Pray and sacrifice. So pray to your Lord and sacrifice to Him alone. فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَا and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqama nabiyya aqama nabiyya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bil madinati ashra sinin ayyudhi he stayed 10 years in Medina and every year he used to do qurban start with the animal after salat al-aid and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says idha dakhala al-ashru wa arada ahadukum an yudhiya fal yumsik an sha'arihi wa asfari when the, ten, when the moon is sighted, then you should stop. Those who intend to make qurbani should stop cutting their nails and their hair. This is a similarity. This is the fitrah, it's the nature. From Sayyidina Ibrahim And the Prophet says, whoever make intention to do qurbani, and we should do qurbani, and stop cutting your hair, Shaving and nail. Cut them. And when you cut, just before the month start, and when you do your qurban, this is recommended. So my brothers and sisters, these are the ahadith, the ayat from the Quran. Many ahadith about these 10 days. And people are only looking for the 15 of Sha'bah or Shab Mi'raj, which is called Laylatul Mi'raj. And the ahadiths are very weak. 
And these ahadiths are very authentic. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala offers His generosity that my servant can come closer to me. If you miss that Laylatul Qadr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you another opportunity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives more people. Allah loves the good deed in these days compared to other days. So what, do not miss your salah, my brothers. Try to come to the masjid and pray in congregation. With jama'ah. Give sadaqah at least every day something. If you read in Quran one page, just do extra page with it to increase in these days. If you are fasting, do extra fasting in these days. Allah loves in these days to be forgiven and along with it to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for yourself, for your family and for the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and for all mankind that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them. Aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'i wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Wal-Aqibatu Lil-Muttaqeen, Wal-Salatu Wal-Salamu Ala Ashrafil Anbiya Wal-Musaleen, Habibina Wa Habib Rabbil Alameen, Amma Ba'd. Fa'a'udhu Billahi Min Al-Shaytan Al-Rajim. Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Inna Allah wa Malaikatahu Yusalluna Ala Al-Nabi. Ya Ayuhal Ladina Amun, Sallu Alayhi Wa Sallimu. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم إنا نسألك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك والغنيمة من كل بر والسلامة من كل إثم لا تدع لي ذم لا تدع لنا ذما إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا مريضا إلا شفته ولا مبتلى إلا عافيته ولا مظلوما إلا نصرته ولا حاجة هي لك رضا إلا قضيت يا رحم الرحيمين اللهم صل الإسلام المسلمين اللهم وفقنا أن نعمل عملا صالحا في هذه الأيام في أيام العشرة من الحجة اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عني رب اجعلني مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتي ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا اغفر لي ولوالدي وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب اللهم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين برحمتك يا رحم الرحمين عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعدكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكر الله يذكركم ودعوه يستجيب لكم واستغفروه لذنوبكم إنه هو الغفور الرحيم وأقم الصلاة